on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and 15. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Garoppolo now, 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Give them a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. to throw. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on and it brings up fourth down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And the Rams getting set to go now. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's Goff now on second down. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Eric Armstead in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. From the gun, here's Goff. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. The 49ers getting set to trot out there. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot, of, a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, we, enjoy. We share we, that. We enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones, and it's going to be hard to parse Who's going to win the MVP? Yeah, it really uh, is. Is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we can probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put it number one for what we've seen this season. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. They run with Breda. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. 
bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Got some real estate inside the 30. And down to the 16-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And there just continues to be nowhere. Smelling like a right now. 